In this video, we are going to learn how to get this glow fantasy effect inside of CapCut. Alright, so I have imported a video. First, we are gonna relight your portrait video. Basically, this tool allows you to add digital light so you can relight things in a realistic way. So here, I select neon B color. We have fake color lighting on the right and the left side, which is light 1 and light 2. Now what we want to do is change the light direction, colors and settings as you like, because we will add glow subjects around your portrait. So I set the color to pink and blue. Next, duplicate your clip by long press alt on your keyboard and drag to the top layer. Go to Remove Background and select Auto Remove All to make selection on the portrait automatically. Then select the bottom layer and we are going to Adjustment. Bring down the curve, maybe range over here so the background is darker. Now it's time to add some element like jellyfish, planet, etc. which you can find this on internet. I download these stock videos from Motion RA. Now before moving on, I wanna thank you to Motion RA for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard about Motion RA, this is a marketplace with tons of video assets for creators. To this day, I still use it for every single project I do. On Motion RA, you can download unlimited amounts of digital assets like video templates, stock footage, music, sound effects, and photos. For editing my videos, I literally can't live without it anymore because every time I need some video templates, I just grab it from there. You see a bunch of 3D titles in my YouTube videos, I use After Effects templates from Motion RA. It's very simple, download and open that file, then just change the title or everything as you like. It's done! Now I don't need to spend hours to create 3D title style. And the cool thing is that you can download as many files as you want to. Just sign up for a month or a year, you get unlimited download whatever and whatever you want without additional fees. Now if you want unlimited downloads and get a subscription, just click the link in the description below. Alright, now let's add your element. Set the blending mode to screen to get rid of that black background. I'm gonna place around here. And I want to make this element behind her. Just set the layer to layer 1. If you don't find this option, just drag this layer below your clip layer. But now I'm not going to do that. Come up here on the adjustment. Let's bring the brightness up to add some clarity on the jelly face. Then repeat the same way. You can place them ferretly in the foreground as well. For the right side, we want to make this element becomes reddish, just like the color on her face on the right side. So I'm gonna bring the temperature and thin to make it warmer, but it doesn't affect that well. So let's go ahead with curve. Bring the red curve to add some reddish on the highlight. And bring down the green and blue so it's a bit warm and red on the shadow. Next, we are going to Effects, and let's find Glow Effect, and apply this to all elements. 
I'm gonna set the glow to about 70. After that, let's find blur effect. And I'm gonna apply this on the foreground to add depth effect and set the blur to about 70 as if this is very close to the camera. And I'm gonna apply the same thing on the background element and set the blur to about 25 as if this is a bit far from the camera. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Once again, let's find vignette effect and set it to about 50 just to give more focus on the subject. And I want to do a little adjustment like make the element brighter and then the background a bit darker. So yeah, here's the result. Just hit the link below to download CapCut for free. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I will see you later in the next video.